He uses that word nobody likes, repent. Repent. Not only confess your sin, forsake your sin. Repent. Run away from it. One old definition said repentance is to leave the sin I've done before and show that I in earnest grieve by doing it no more. If a man is genuinely born again, all things pass away. All old things pass away. And all things become new. You know, we're, we are preaching an acceptable gospel today. Make it as painless as we can. And all we do is give people a shot to put them to sleep so they'll get to hell quicker. We need some hellfire preaching on repentance. If any man, anywhere, at any time, being Christ, he may be the most twisted, perverted, carnal, cruel, stinking man in the whole world. But if the miracle of regeneration comes, comes in him, he gets a new heart, a new mind, a new spirit, a new inlook, a new outlook, new everything. We've forgotten about the majesty of the new birth. People just nod their head and say the sinner's prayer and go straight to hell down the aisle of it after they've laid their head on the shoulder of a pastor. Repent. They don't think of the blood of Christ. They don't think he turned God's anger away. They don't think he rescued them from eternal hell. If they did, they'd either weep for joy or, or weep for, or for sorrow. But they weep for nothing. We're wanting to make a short-term investment, aren't we, and get the glory of God in one night of prayer. I believe the only first thing God's earth that gives the devil any nerves is a Holy Ghost man. The greatest miracle that God can do is to take an unholy person out of an unholy world, make that unholy person holy, put them back in an unholy world, and keep them holy. In the midst of a crooked and perverted and perverse generation, why should I preach to you? God knows I'm adding condemnation to you tonight. You can't handle the truth you've already got. You've had it for five or ten years, you can't handle it. Why should I bring you more truth? Why should I give you the challenge of having a spirit through life? I believe the same thing happens in our churches every Sunday. People are choking and we're trying to pour the water of life into them and the poor souls are so damned and lost they can't take it. They listen to the same preacher year after year, says the same things in the same way. He hasn't shed a tear since he left his mother's womb. He went to the seminary and got a big fat head and a shrunken skull. 